So let's create image planes. Uh, very simple. Just go to create and um, free image plane. And it will create it there. And here, what we're going to do is we're just going to go look for the image name, click on that, and I am going to say front IP and hit open. And there we go. And uh, this is actually correct. It's facing front. I am just going to um, move it out uh, it, or back by selecting it. I'm going to go back in Z minus 12 to put it at the back of the grid. And then I'm going to go to Create and Free Image Plane. And this time, we're going to go to the Attribute Editor for the Image Plane. And again, this time, uh, however, we're going to use Side IP and hit Open. And there we go. And notice that it's exactly the same height, so it should all match perfectly. I'm going to select this and, in this case, rotate it in terms of this, 90 degrees in Y. And I'm going to move it minus 12 in X. Okay, minus 12. This way, I've got the both, both images there, um, but they're out of reach. I'm going to select both image planes. I'm going to add them to a display layer. So by having them both selected, I'm going to go in here to this uh, icon here under display layers. This icon says to select both of them. Uh, I mean, whatever's selected is going to go into a layer together. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to double click on it and I'm going to call it uh, IP layer. Okay, and hit save. Each of these, you know, you could rename these, but I'm going to say uh, maybe uh, side IP for that. And for this one, front IP. Perfect. And this way I can turn these off if I need to. At the same time, let's go into our four view where we're going to be doing a lot of our work. We're going to be doing a lot of our work initially between these two. Now, the one thing that doesn't match up uh, correctly is that actually this um, front view, uh, we want the nose to be running down the Y axis. So that just might depend on how centered your uh, front picture is. I am actually going to move that to match right down the middle as best as possible. There we go, that's pretty good. Everyone's face is not perfectly symmetrical, so just be warned. Um, all right, so that's with that done, I'm actually going to uh, click in this empty box next to the layer once. That's gonna, everything's gonna disappear. That's in template mode, not to worry about that. I'm gonna click a second time, and now it's in what's called reference mode, and I cannot select these, which is great, which means I can model without worrying about accidentally selecting the wrong thing. Okay, so there our scene is ready to start modeling.